Hey, welcome back. Um, got a bit of broken baffle here. It's fallen in half there, and I thought rather um, rather than repair it, which is what a lot of people do, but it's not a very good solution. It's right near the bolt hole. Not a good place to start riveting patches on. It might be quicker just to cut a new bit, so I flattened it out, roughed a bit. Um, we'll get some marks on it and have some fun with the Hypertherm Power Max 30. See just how how accurately and how quickly we can work with that with a few little tricks. I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, I hope you can see I've got some marks on it there, and uh, I'm just I'm just uh, striking some marks on it there, just on the plastic covering, roughly. So I can these are three eighths radii in from there, so that I can put my uh, drill through here and my cone cutter, three quarter cone cutter through here and that will give me a bit of a head start on these radii. It's quite uh, quite useful when you're, when you're plasma cutting to have some starting points so we will do that. Okay I've got the little PowerMax 30 set about 20 amps, um, it's 30,000 aluminium we're cutting so it should do. And what we're going to try and do, if I can put you there so you can see, I've got a piece of uh, aluminium just guillotined for a straight edge. I'm going to do a little calibration cut, I'm just going to put the torch down there, take a pair of verniers and measure the distance from my straight edge to the cut, then I'll know where to work from. It's just on the waste part of the material. The uh, really nice fine cut you get. I don't, I don't know any other plasma cutter that really works this well. I'm just going to take a measurement. From there to the like the near side of the cut and that'll give me something to work from to cut a few straight edges. Alright let's see if we can't cut down this line here uh, accurately using that measurement I've, I've locked the verniers in that position that I measured I want to be on this side of the line this is the waist side I measured to the to the short side of the cut if you like so let's position It's clumsy trying to work around cameras, you know. Position our guide and make a cut. Let's see how we do. A little dry run first and go all the way to the end. This is waste material on the end. Not bad, hung around too long at the beginning, we'll get there. Okay, I've done most of the straight lines that I can. Now I've just taken a little calibrating cut for the curves using a piece of bent quarter brake pipe. Now I've taken a measurement, I want to be on the inside of the curve, so this time I've set my measurement to the outside of the cut. And hopefully you can make up these bits of, of bent brake pipe a bit like a French curve. Just set it on there and probably one cut, two cuts, we'll get this this curve quite nicely, so let's have a go at that.
Okay, pretty close to the line. This this uh, this line that you can see here is a line made by the torch, so it's not the line I was going to. Yeah, not looking too bad. Oh, I'll do a bit more, and we we'll see how we go. Okay, I've just I've just straightened out the brake pipe for this last bit of curve here. And it's looking pretty close, so we we'll give that a go, and then we'll see how it all looks. Okay, here's the result, and uh, not looking too bad. Oh, I've scratched. Not looking too bad, and I reckon uh, I reckon pin them together. Pin them together. Ten minutes filing, and we'll be done. So I think that's close enough. Close enough for me there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's a tiny bit to file off there. We can we can live with that. File those corners. Put it together. Drill a few holes. I think uh, I just just wanted to kind of show you how accurate that little hypertherm is. You know, with a few uh, bits of bent metal. All right, I hope that video was uh, helpful and of interest to someone. If you're thinking about investing in a plasma cutter, seriously consider Hypertherm. Um, I'm, not, I'm not paid by Hypertherm. I'm not connected with Hypertherm in any way. I've had other plasma cutters, and they're, they're, they're just a pleasure to use. Certainly the hand systems. I can't speak for their machine systems, but I'm sure they're very good. Um, I hope it's helpful. If you like what you see, please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, do whatever, comment, enjoy. Thank you very much for watching.